What's going on YouTube? We're back in the scale micro garage and um I know it's a little junky going on in the garage today. We got parts everywhere. I primed the bumper, pulled out the 120 motor. I'm gonna talk about this transmission. I got the 200 RPM motor in. Um, the only problem is I gotta go and get another Allen head because this Allen head, it's now stripped. And I can't get the 200 motor to, uh, you know, I didn't put the gear all the way up on there. So I got to go up to the hobby shop and go get me some more Allen heads so I can fix that. Get ready to grease those gears up. I'm going to get ready to decase the uh, receiver box. I'm going to order some of that conformal, what is it, conformal coating from eBay. I'm going to grab some of that so I can start waterproofing the electronics. Um got a little surprise for you guys I went on ahead and primed my wife's body on the Datsun I really hope she likes it let's uh here we go I'm not a real good painter so you know it's gonna it's gonna look crappy but here's her truck so far now I can touch it a little bit um paint still drying still curing this is only two coats this tablet is not doing justice um, I haven't even wet sanded it yet but the tablet is not doing justice for the the sparkle like it's a pink but it's called uh, Tamiya um, I don't have the can around the can's by the laundry room but I'll go ahead and grab the body off real quick because I'm still um, deciding on making you know getting the links right those little tabs that you see there those are drone um, like the little spacers for the drone kit that I had left over for that drone build and what I did was I just cut some screws and made my own little like uh, stiffeners for the frame because you know without that the frame doesn't have that and I'm trying not to take apart my Jeep but as it's looking I might end up pulling the uh, skid plates off the bottom of the Jeep I don't use them anyways those little skid plates I mean they help out but I'm gonna need them for this so that way I'm thinking about mounting the body with the interior as you see I thought that that was a uh, like a leather brown interior but it looks more my wife said it looks gold so I want to go over and repaint it but there's the hood right there let's um let's put the body in a little bit excuse my hands with all the Let's give it a little bit of try and give it some shine and the light. Let's see here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of shine. I gotta cut out the engine bay some more so the battery will fit. Because the battery and the electronic speed control is gonna go up there. What you see right there, that's some play-doh from where I had the body sitting on the uh Oh, there's the play-doh. Where I had the body sitting on the bottle. I ended up I was trying to uh you know get ready to film this I also cut my holes wrong so I'm gonna have to adjust that with the metal that I'm gonna use to mount this body onto the frame but oh, my tablet's going all wigging all out but right there I gotta do a couple more sprays anyways after the wet sand because I nicked the body there right there on the corner right there and then also I nicked it up there at the top with the uh, Dremel but, and I also put too much paint a little runny right there she wanted sparkles it don't really have a lot of sparkles in it now this is supposed to be a pearl red to me this looks pink maybe I'm colorblind but to me it calls it a pearl red I do see the red in there look at that look at where I got too much paint I'm gonna go ahead and get this boy a wet sand especially right there on the bottom of that door Ugh. I tried wiping off some of the uh, excess paint, which was a bad thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and give this body a whole wet sand. And maybe about like three more coats of paint. Wet sand it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and just let it just dry, let it cure. And then uh, tomorrow when I do my micro rigs video, we'll check it out. And uh, maybe there'll be a difference, you know, from now till tomorrow. Um, I don't have no orange peel or nothing like that, so I'm just going to use some water, some uh, 2500 grit, um, 
No, it's not real gritty, but it's 2500 grit US grit, not the European grit, but it's the US grit sandpaper that I got from Home Depot. And uh, I'm just going to sand away. I'm hoping to God that she likes it. I'm going to get ready to cut out probably the middle square so I can run the SMDs. But I really hope she likes it. Little girl crawler. <laughs> Miss Dotson. Yeah. All right, you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Get ready to paint that. Um, let's go ahead and throw the body back on there. I love the way this this body looks, especially like this. You know, it reminds me of my S10 when I was 18. I had a slammed S10, standard cab, ground control. But all right, all right, all right I'm talking too much. We want the body to sit like this. You know, with the wheels probably like that, like a little off roader. But we also want that frame. You know, we want that look, that link. We want the links looking like they're dragging down. You know, we want that off-road country boy look. You know, kind of like how we got it on the F-150 on the Orlando Hunter. All right, you guys, I'm I'm talking, I'm rambling on too much. Let me get back to work, try and get this boy running, um, take it up to the hobby shop, show it off, you know, do all that good stuff. Because I got to try and find a servo. I don't know if I'm going to go with a high-tech servo. I'm probably I'm gonna go to high tech servo because that's just what they have in stock. Um, but I really want to go with something stronger than the one that I got in the Orlando Hunter F-150. Um, I do need to replace that servo. That servo's so weak. But uh, all right, you guys, peace and love. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking so far. How this build is going along. Love you guys. Stay tuned to the next video. I know I already said that. Dogs are barking. I gotta get on out of here. <laughs> Peace out. See you guys in the next video.